Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing the 20 random facts about me tag. I'm not even sure if this is a tag. I just saw Desi Perkins do it and other YouTubers, so I just thought, why not give it a try? I just think personally I like to watch videos like those and to know more personal facts about a person that I watch on YouTube because I just think it is a great way to get to know people especially in this community because it can just be more like makeup videos and stuff and yeah whatever thought I'd give it a try thought I'd give it a try so let's get into it random fact number one is when I was little I used to want to be an artist and when I mean an artist I don't mean a makeup artist I mean like a Van Gogh like I wanted to do paintings I wanted to sell paintings that's what I wanted to do and I remember like my grade one teacher looked at me and she was like Haley that's not really a realistic career path because artists only get famous really when they die so I was like okay that's out the window because I want to be famous before I die preferably random fact number Two, when I was in grade four, I sang in front of my entire school, and I sang Beautiful by Christina Aguilera, and it was probably the most, like, embarrassing thing, thinking back on it. Like, I had my hair in a little clip like this, I'll show you. I actually have a clip. This is how I wore my hair, with the little thing, and I was like... And I don't know why my mom let me do that, but I thought I was like all Christina Aguilera and stuff, so. Random question number three. I have a really, really big fear of the ocean. I don't mean like the, like I just like, A, I don't go in the ocean really. B, it's not even more like the ocean. It's more or less like sunken ships. Like that's my biggest fear in life is like sunken ships, sunken airplanes, just like creepy stuff. Like envisioning the Titanic like underwater just gives me the heebie-jeebies. I don't know why. It just makes me really uncomfortable. <laughs> Sounds super fucking weird. I can't help it. It's been one of my fears for years. Like even when I went to Cuba with my friends a couple of years ago, like we went snorkeling and like I was so, so scared that I was going to see a sunken ship. Like... I'm not even kidding, the the instructor, like, I was in a life jacket, number one, because I can barely swim. He, I have, like, my, my arm over him, like, <clears throat> doing doggy paddle like this, like, trying to stay flow. Like, everyone's just dying laughing, but, like, I literally, it's just one of my fears. And I wish I could get rid of it, but I can't. Random fact number four. I was a cheerleader for nine years on a couple different cheerleading teams. I did competitive cheerleading since I was in grade five, and then... I switched over to high school cheer for a couple of years and then I eventually went into university cheer and then I quit. Yeah. Um, random fact number five. I always get my nails done. As you guys, I don't know if anybody notices that stuff, but I've got my nails in for around two years now. I don't plan on ever stop getting my nails done. The thought of like getting acrylic nails and then taking them off and like the softness of your nail ooh, it makes me ooh, like I don't even I can't describe it like it's my number one like it just makes me so it just is I can't even like to say it it's just so cringy it just makes me cringe like ooh. the thought of like a bet like bending them and like feeling them it just ooh, it just like really fucks with me and also like adding on to that fact like also like random hair like I don't mind blonde hair because I have blonde hair but I mean like my friend like my best friend has like long red hair and it's like this big and it'll be like stuck to the fucking bathtub it'll be stuck on the wall I'll be pulling it out of my sweaters like that like it'll be stuck between my toes when I'm sleeping I'm not even kidding she sheds like a dog every single time I leave her house I have hair everywhere and I'm just like Ooh, gross random fact number I got into doing makeup randomly stumbling upon a Jaclyn Hill video probably three years ago now I watched YouTube videos for a long time and then I got into trying to do makeup just by like looking at her videos and slowly got into it um, I got into like body painting because like I saw this girl that I went to high school with she like posted a picture of like a sugar skull online <laughs> And I was like, you know what? I want to try to do that. So I literally get out my eyeliner and my little eyeshadows. I didn't have body paint at the time. And I just winged it. And it brought me where I am today. And I'm forever thankful for that. Random fact number seven. I went to summer school in grade eight for math. I think I had like a 49 in the class or maybe like a 48. And he wouldn't, I think he said that he would pass me. But my mom was like, no, you need to go back 
and redo the eighth grade and I'm like no that is like social suicide you cannot go back and redo like oh my god everybody's gonna make fun of me like blah 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 he gave me the option of going to summer school so I took it so all grade eight summer of going into grade nine I was in summer school like the entire summer and it sucked but I was really bad at math and in fact number eight um, when I was little I have this widow peak in my hair as you can tell, like, my hairline goes like this. Oh, my God. I, I, first of all, I hate my hairline, I think. Like, I don't know what the hell is the point of this random piece just growing out of the middle of my forehead, but that's just cool, whatever. And when I was little, I did not like that. I thought every, like, I didn't even, no one even made fun of me for it, but, like, I just, like, was, like, one of my biggest insecurity was, insecurities when I was little so I remember looking in the mirror one day and I was just like I don't want this anymore so I took one of my dad's razors and I just shaved it off and my mom lost her shit she was like what did you do I was like I duct taped it off because back then I was not allowed to use razors and if she knew that I used my dad's razor she would have really freaked out so I was like oh I, I duct taped it off so anyways I walked around like with like a shaved piece from here down so like when it grew back in there was like a little tiny piece like this just grew, like just like stuck there like I it looked so ridiculous that <laughs> I don't even know it just looked so ridiculous and it took forever to grow back random fact number nine I cannot go a day without drinking coffee like I get up in the mornings and I'm so so tired because I have to get up like 6 30 and as soon as I take my first sip of coffee it is like it's like I can think clearly clearly I have an addiction um, but yeah, I just think that, like, I'm more focused and I'm more, like, I can get things done during the day if I drink coffee. So, like, I, don't, I can't go a day without coffee. Just can't happen. In fact, number 10. 10. I used to play Barbies until I was in the 7th grade. And I know that sounds so crazy, but I had, to, like, I have a younger sister and a younger cousin that we grew up together. And I just played Barbies with them until I was in the 7th grade. Judge me. Judge me. Um, random fact number 11. I was 12, 11. Um, my family is crazy. <laughs> like, my mom was the type of mom and my grandmother. I would say my grandmother and my mother are crazy. I think it just runs down the Walker family tree because we're all crazy. <laughs> like, my mom was one of those moms that, like, if I was at a party and I lied to her about where I was, she would end up finding out where I was, come into the party in her rubber boots and her pajamas and drag me out of there. She's done it multiple times. She's so embarrassing. Like, one time this, like, guy stole my iPod, like, in grade, God, 8. And we were all just chilling in McDonald's. And I don't even know how my mom found me, but she rolls up, comes in, starts, like, bitching me out, bitching this kid out because I was hanging out with him and he stole my iPod. Oh, my God. It was just, like, so embarrassing. And my nan did the exact same stuff. Like, my nan, when I was in summer school for grade 8, she, would, she used to work for a construction company, so she would, like, pull up outside of my summer school, flick her lights on, scream, Haley, Haley, like, just embarrass the hell out of me with her, like, flashing lights. Like, there's so many more stories I could go on for forever, but they're crazy. <laughs> um, random fact number 12. I got fired from Greco Pizza. Still to this day don't know why, because I feel like I was their best employee. But yeah, I got fired from Greco Pizza. How is that even possible? I, like, did my job so well. Um, I also got fired from Reitman's. I worked there, but that was back, like, I would just, like, drink on the weekends all the time. And, like, 9 a.m. shifts were just non-existent to me. I was like, to go in there, I'm just, like, I was out till 5 a.m., show up to work. I would literally be, like, on the rack, just, like, snoozing on the clothing rack. And, like, she would watch me on the cameras. And she called me in the office one day and she was just like, I'm so disappointed in you. I see you leaning on the clothes racks. I don't even see you. You always hide in the fitting rooms. Like, it was bad. I was like 19. Good times, good times. Um, random fact number 13. I am a nanny's girl. Like, literally, it sounds crazy. I'm 24 years old and I'm such a nanny's girl. Like, me... And my 13-year-old cousins will have arguments on who's sleeping with Nan on the weekend because I'm sleeping with Nan. I love my grandmother to death, and I don't care how embarrassing it is. I'm 24, 24 years old, and I still sleep with my grandmother sometimes. Deal with it. Number 14. When I was in grade 8, me and my best friend got caught stealing from Superstore. I think I stole, like, an eyeliner. An eyeliner and, like, an eyeshadow or something. 
or like a bunch of stuff like I like I don't even know I just was like oh yeah it's such a good idea puts all this like makeup in my bag and then my best friend like had she took an eyeliner and she put it in her pocket and then we got caught and when we got pulled into the room like I was bawling because I'm like don't tell my mom don't tell my dad I'm gonna be disowned like yada 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 and I looked over my best friend just like dying laughing and I'm just like it's not funny random fact number 15. I am very, very, very bad at geography, and a lot of you might know that, but, like, I'm sorry, those are just one of the classes in high school I just did not pay attention to, and I even took it in university, and I still barely pass. I only passed because I had, to, like, one of my friends at the time helped me. Like, I barely passed it. Like, I hate geography. I don't find it interesting. It just ran back. I couldn't tell you how many countries are in the world or how many provinces are in Canada. Like, I honestly don't know because it just never interests me. So, it's never something that I even really thought I needed to remember. So, yeah. I'm really, really bad at geography. Don't ask me geography questions. I will probably get them wrong. Random fact number 16. Growing up, I used to listen to Eminem faithfully. I don't know why my mom let me listen to Eminem growing up. But, like, I'm not even kidding. All the other girls would be, like, <laughs> and I would be, like, knees weak, arms are heavy, mom spaghetti. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> God. I was just a hard Eminem fan. Like, I was committed. He was on my walls. I would only listen to him. I've listened to every single CD. Now I'm just, like, Mom, I would not be letting my kid listen to Eminem. It's like s such bad language, but whatever. And if my sister tried to listen to Eminem, I'd be like, you can't listen to that song because there's swear words. Even though she's like a couple years younger than me and I was listening to it anyways. Random fact number 17. My mom let me get my nose pierced when I was in grade 5. And my belly button pierced when I was in grade 7. I got my belly button pierced with an earring gun. And then I had to go back to like a piercing place and get it stretched. It got infected. It was gross. I also had my tongue pierced in high school. Which was really ratchet. So I ended up taking that out. Who lets their kid get their nose pierced in grade 5? It's like, oh Haley, you can't walk to the store. But you can get your nose pierced. Random fact number 18. I can walk on my toes. I'm not going to do a demonstration because it kind of weirds people out a little bit. But, like, I can literally curl my toes under like this and, like, walk on the tops of them. And it sounds really fucked up because it kind of is fucked up. But that's just what I can do. It's my talent, yo. And also, my fingers can, like, do the splits. I think I'm, like, double-jointed or something. Can you do that? Can you? Number 20. I will never, ever, ever, ever be caught dead in velvet. You guys can hold me to it. You'll never see me in velvet. I don't like the material. I think it's weird. I don't know how it's a fashion trend right now. I just... Mm, 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 mm. This velvet is big no-no for me. And the last and final random fact about tomorrow is if I could have any animal in the world, it would be a sloth. Like, I don't even care. I would set up fake trees in my living room and just have them just chilling there. I just love them. I just love sloths. I think they're so cute. I just love how, like, I don't know. How they're just so, like, slow and they just look so cute and not, e like, and every sloth kind of looks different. <laughs> Super weird, but I would just, the things that I would do to hold a sloth. So there you guys have it. That is 20 random facts about me. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks so much for sticking around. If you like it, give it the thumbs up. If you don't like it, give it a thumbs down. I don't care. Do what you do. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.